My Stoner Mind. Okay, so I thought I'd add this into the video. You probably know what this is. If you don't know what it is, then you are in for a surprise. So this is what it is. Can you see? Hopefully you can see what it is. So uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take this out. That was kind of crunchy. So what we have here is a spider. And we also have a wormy. Um, wormy right here is a little too small for spider, but um, should do for now. So the worm goes in like that. Also we've got some water. Kind of hard getting the position right because when I turn it, this guy is sensitive to movement and wants to um, move around. Hopefully, you can see him properly. I might just take a quick picture for the Instagram and then we'll put the lid back on. So, yeah, sooner or later, I'm gonna have to get a bigger container for this. But uh, the other one is uh, always hiding, so I didn't bother putting him on film. And uh, yeah, that is the spiders fed and watered. Right here we have Pancake. I think she's about to go to sleep, but I'm not too sure. Kind of looks like it. Anyway, what we have here is a new computer I've just set up. So uh, this is a Ryzen Threadripper, as you can see. I'm pretty sure you can read. If you're on my Instagram, you'll probably know about this already. So 64 gigs of RAM and uh, yeah. Kushti Bari. So what we're going to do now is uh, go on to something else. And the something else is this. Now, I don't know which is the front or the back of the box, but uh, let's just start off maybe here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, this is a basically this is a phone case for my phone. If you hadn't have guessed now, maybe let's begin with my phone case. So this is my phone case and uh, I'll just show you it. It's a bit of a mess. Now I've had it since I've had my phone. And uh, as you can see, these have been done using the laser engraver that I also have. It's a bit of a mess. Um, the phone is about four years old, so I'm guessing that's about as old as this is. Yeah, and there's also peanut and pancake on the back of this, which I was basically I use this phone case as a bit of a test item for the laser engraver etcher thing. I did use it in a video as well. So yeah, came in handy for that. But other than that, the phone is in reasonably good condition, I guess. Um, two weeks after I got the phone, I uh, put this on the edge of my bath and uh, it fell off. As you can see, there's a bit of a uh, thing right there. So that was nice. Also, with this being a Galaxy Note 5, they have this on the side here. This is a pen. Uh, it's called an S Pen, so you take that out and you can scribble on the screen and stuff. Now, with it having that, they've made a bit of a dip in the case right there. So uh, when you drop the phone, basically everything in the corner right there comes into contact with the ground and uh, has no protection, which is awesome. So yeah, anyway, back to this. Uh, being the typical guy, I'm not really too uh, bothered about saving weight or, you know, having a light phone or a small phone. Maybe back in the 3GS days, the iPhone 3GS, uh, I had an iPhone 3, I had an iPhone 3GS, I had a 4S, and then I started uh, to hate Apple because each of those phones had an issue. So uh, what would happen is, after a certain period of time, they start slowing down, the batteries would die, then I realised that it was probably happening on purpose. That, by the way, was a sort of theory I'd come up with by myself, just based on what I was seeing. Who would have thought, a bunch of years later, it would turn out to be true? Anyway, after the 4S died, I moved to a Note 2, a Galaxy Note 2, and then the Note 2 lasted me four years, three years, something like that. And then I got this, the Galaxy Note 5. I've not touched this in any other way. This is all standard. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no speed decreases. There's no nothing. The battery is even still fine. Being the typical guy I am, um, I'm not really too bothered about having something small, something uh, lightweight, uh, something that will fit into my purse because I don't carry a purse. Either way, phones these days are sort of uh, getting bigger, which is kind of funny because back then everybody was after a small phone, a little, you know, a little small one that you can fit in your hand and... Uh, don't really care for small phones personally, but uh, yeah, the bigger the screen, the better the things look on the screen. So yeah, 
Anyway, uh, this comes with a bunch of stuff. If you're wanting to protect yourself with a, uh, a weapon you can stick in your pocket, then this is probably something you can get. So yeah, if you're looking for some decent protection for your phone, I'm guessing this will probably offer it or some, or a case similar to this. Um, I know this is an old phone, so I'm guessing this case is quite old too. Don't know if they make it for any other model phone, but maybe check it out. That is the name right there. So uh, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, obviously take this apart. I mean, open the box and, uh, you know, but yeah, it's got a few things anyway. So uh, lanyard loop, seamless protection, blah, 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 and uh, port covers, which I'm guessing is nice. So yeah, anyway, let's open this up. I'm guessing it's never been opened, but I don't think it matters if it has. Yeah, anyway, let's see what this says. What we truly concern is not, what we truly concern is not only quality goods, but also your satisfaction. What we truly concern. Right, okay. Dear my friend, thank you very much for choosing C Cosmo. This is Pan, I'm guessing that's short for pancake the representative of your after sales service. If there is any problem about your item, please feel free to contact me with your order, blah, blah, blah. I will be always at your service and try my best to solve your issue within 24 hours. Best regards, Pancake. All right, so uh, let's have a look at this then. Ah, and you can tell it's a cheap phone case because it comes with two Allen keys, even though there's a space for one of them. That's nice, isn't it? Have you seen the space right there? So there's one, little sort of molding right there and uh, yeah, interesting, right? Wrong. So now I've got two more of these and check out my collection. All these have come from various things that I've bought over time. Apart from these, these are body pins for an RC car. That is all added to my collection. And uh, not only do I have these, but I also have a set of Allen keys, which I use. So these are basically all spare. So, that right there is basically what my phone is going to look like. And on the back of it, we have this. This is kind of soft and uh, this is not going to be there. Now we'll take this apart and put my phone inside it. All right, so no other instructions. I'm guessing I'm going to have to undo these. So let's just undo them. Now, there was a point in time where I thought the idea of a phone case was a little silly, but I've never personally dropped a phone from like six feet up and uh, cracked the screen or anything. I can imagine that happening though, and it would be pretty annoying. So yeah, eventually I changed my viewpoint on phone cases. And uh, here we are with this brick. Not too keen on the writing on the side of it right there. Oh yeah, by the way, the edge on this is soft. All right, so that's all the screws out. Now, let's see what uh, this is about. Wasn't expecting it to open up from that side. There we have it. Anybody want a free phone giveaway coming soon? Leave your comment down below and I'll choose a winner. Okay, so we've got another one of these I can add to my collection. Um, well, it's a bit smaller than I'd like, but yes, anyway, cleaning cloth. Also, we have some more screws, which is great because I was about to say we have no more spare screws, so I've got to be careful when I'm taking them out. But, uh, oh, we've got some more as well, so I can be less careful. Not sure what this is about. Let's stick my phone in here. This is all soft, which is nice. Shock absorption. Um, usually these hard phone cases don't even offer any shock absorption. So yeah, personally I wouldn't get a hard phone case. Alright, so let me take this out. Alright, so here we have my phone out of its case. Every time I take it out of the case it feels like a completely different phone, which is no surprise. So anyway, let's put this in here. And uh, yeah. Now maybe let's clean it with this. No, that doesn't really make much of a difference. Uh, let's add a bit of ISO to it. Reika Sol with the ice hole. Now that should probably get rid of most of these uh, fingerprints and stuff. That, by the way, is alcohol, so you just spray it onto there and clean. Gets rid of all the fingerprints. All right, so that's nice and clean, and so is this. And I'm guessing this is all I have to do. And now we put the screws back in. All right, so this phone case has basically doubled the weight of my phone. So uh, now it's more like this. And this right here is a battery pack with some solar panels on it. 
which I'm not too sure how well it works, but it's pretty heavy. This is about the same, more or less. Now, I do actually have weighing scales here somewhere, but um, I think they need a bit of a clean. Anyway, uh, this is the phone case, which is now probably going to damage anything I drop it onto. I'm quite looking forward to that, actually. Um, so, yeah. 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 Anybody want a free phone giveaway coming soon? Leave your comments down below and I'll choose a winner. Yeah.